first I define this vector that you see this thick black line here going from the camera's focal point to the image plane. And then I scale that vector for each of these objects. So for each object in the scene, I calculate the distance from the camera to the object. And then I scale the screen vector by that distance. And then I check to see what the distance from the end of that vector to the object in the scene is. And if it's within a, th a certain threshold, then I say that we are picking the object. So right now you're still seeing that my actual mouse position on the canvas is controlling the mouse position on this little fake camera here. Um, so like if my mouse position were right here on the screen and my camera were at the position of this camera, then I would be hovering over the purple sphere. And if I reset, then you can see that here. There I am. Once I move my actual camera, obviously it doesn't work like that, but I did this to show you that I'm checking at four different distances. So each, each time I'm shooting through, through the screen out into the 3D world, I'm checking four distances, one for each object in the scene. And as you can see, like when it lines up with the purple one, then it's colliding, the green, the yellow, the blue, this is tricky. Okay, so that's basically the idea. Uh, implementing that took some time. Um, the main thing, the hardest part is that uh, you have to transform this vector into the orientation of the camera. So you have to figure out the, the pan and tilt angles of the camera. And to do that, I considered the, the camera's position and it's the position of the look at point. And then you can calculate these two angles using the, those positions when you consider the delta x, y, and z of uh, those positions. And to further show that, so like if you wanted to find this this green angle, which I called the zenith, but technically the zenith would be this angle. This should be called the altitude. Um, I would use this triangle. So then I'm looking at the the delta y and the distance the distance from the camera to the look at point, ignoring the y component. So that one's a little bit trickier to think about. Um, but this one is just the delta x, which is this dotted red line, and the delta z. So you can use a, a tan 2 to find both of these angles. And I can show you in the code where that is. And the code for all four of these sketches will be in the description as well. So for the azimuth, which is the pan of the camera, I'm looking at the, the delta Z and the delta X. So that's this, delta Z, delta X, to find that angle. And then for the zenith angle, the delta Y, which is this, and the distance from cam i x, cam i z, which is here, to cam center x, cam center z. And center is the look at point, and i is the camera's position. So look at point, position. And you can get that for free, basically, because I used create camera. So those properties in a previous video i've made a camera object to keep track of those properties but it turns out you can just um for these purposes of this you can just you know use the built-in camera object in p5 and it'll keep track of it okay that's basically it hope you found this helpful or cool and thanks for watching